Ooh, the film? <laughs> what is happening? Let's start looking at this from a pro editor perspective. Right off the bat, it has a very strong beginning. We have lots of round shapes. We have a tower with some film grain on it. I like that because you can see there's lots of light dancing on the walls, and I don't know if that's in editing or if they actually shot that on set, but you need that movement, otherwise it just looks like a Ken Burns effect on a still image. And this match cut to the moon with the nice boom sound effect, it kind of turns me on. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh. We have a nice vista, which I don't know what the point of this shot is really, other than sort of establishing, maybe it's an ancient times. But I do like that the dominant color is green because that is the complementary color of the next shot, red. What, bruh, <laughs> what? They transport into coffee? Okay. When I tell you the amount of time I spent on the freaking Twilight fandom wiki page in preparation for this reaction is crazy. I didn't know they lived in coffins. I didn't know they can teleport. All you Twilight fans are like, bro, look at this freaking idiot. <laughs> But that is a very cool VFX transition. Like, everything is very strong. I like this. All right, it's nice. There's nothing too spectacular happening yet, but I like it. Throughout this reaction, I'm gonna be giving a little bit of constructive criticism. Overall, this video is great, but I think there's little points that we can actually improve on. So I'm gonna point out a few of those. Sound fun? I think so. It's, we're talking to the audience, bro. Not you, calm down. <laughs> this guy. So the first thing that I'm seeing off the bat is I like how we tilt down. I feel like the choreography, it's not the best. It's kind of boring. Them standing up looks a little bit awkward and clumsy. So I think I would have rather even just cut to this next shot where we have an intense stare on the first time we hear the lyric and bite me. And it's like, wow, that's the kind of music video we're getting into, okay. I wanna make the audience feel a little bit uncomfortable because of how thirsty these boys are. So yeah, I think I would've put B-roll over this moment right here. Oh yeah, and vampires, uh, if you didn't know, they can't see themselves in mirrors. Totally need that one. <laughs> so the whole verse, the meaning is pretty much like, look, we're vampires and we're gonna tell you a story. And a lot of the story is carried through the lyrics. It's fine but I think you can enhance what the lyrics are saying even more with the visuals. What is the story actually telling? How can we make the audience feel the emotions deeply? It's just a little basic. I do really like that shot though. It's really good. So the song's about a guy who loves a girl who's a vampire, who has this connection where they might've been together before, but the dude messed up and he's like, girl, I need you back in my life. And they seal this love through blood, hence the vampireness and you know, the biting. So a bite to a vampire is the most intimate thing ever because the blood is literally their life essence. Bro, they literally said sidekick that worships you. That's my destiny, just come over and bite me. The thirst issues these boys have. I'm all for some good healthy relationships. This is not that. Let's just say in hype and they're not the best role models at this point. Right when this setup started with this blue light, especially on this shot right here with this long lens, it feels like a live performance with the way that it's lit, the way that it's color graded and the lens that they're on. It's such a weird thing to be like, oh, this is a music video, but it doesn't look like a music video. It looks like a stage performance. Huh. I like the strobes. The strobes are good. The 
the the non the oh frick frick <laughs> The non-strobing shots intercut with the strobing shots together felt a little bit weird. There wasn't continuity between them. I really wish that they were. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted to see at the beginning of the video. All right, here's another section that I think could have been improved on. I like what they were going for. I just think the execution wasn't there. And I think a huge part of it is on the filmmakers. And I mean, maybe it's the editor too for not choosing the right takes. This little match cut thing, it's not a match cut. The lens is different. Everybody's in different positions. It feels a little sloppy. Also, the choreography is not really in sync. Check it out. Just come over and bite me. Come here and get some. It's just the members are doing different things. Their hands are moving at different rates and different directions. I hate to say this too. This music video is pretty much like if Americans tried to make a K-pop music video, it just wouldn't be as crispy. It's not to that level of perfection that K-pop videos usually hit. That, the cuts right after that though were super crispy. They were nice. Have you ever wanted to go to film school but not been able to? The reality is that not everybody has $100,000 to go to film school or four years to go through the program. And because I was privileged enough to be able to do it, I went through it so you don't have to. And so now I've created a course to teach you everything I learned in film school and all of my years of industry experience for 0.2% of the price in 3% of the time. There were... It's a lot cheaper and quicker, <laughs> essentially. You do not need a degree to break into the film industry. All you need is the skills, and I can teach you that. So if you're trying to be an editor, break into the industry, and you've been saving up, now is the time. If you wanna learn more, go ahead and hit the link in the description. All right, thanks for letting me sponsor my own episode. <laughs> Back to the reaction. Ooh, this setup is gorgeous. What? Okay. If you know me, I'm not a huge fan of jump cuts unless there's a good reason. This didn't feel like a great reason. We literally just had a shot of the architecture. It's like, look at this cool archway. And then they just cut from here to here, which looks like the exact same lens. You have a similar wall, similar perspective. And because of that, it feels like a jump cut. I'm just not a huge fan of that personally. I don't like that cut. Ooh. No, bruh. Are you serious? Again, freaking sideways cameras. <laughs> Every single K pop video I'm watching in the last like two months has a sideways camera shot just like this. What is going on? Why don't I get the memo? I don't get it. Gosh. Oh, that made me dizzy. They had a spinning dolly zoom, which a dolly zoom is when you zoom in and the camera is moving the opposite direction. And so it gives you this stretchy, warpy feel. That's art. That shot was fire. Dude, also, oh, wow. They're just crossfades, but because the lighting situation changes from one shot to the next, like the source light is on this side and then the next shot it's on this side, it looks like there's a moving cross dissolve across the face and it gives it this like warpy 3D effect when it really doesn't exist. It's like an optical illusion. That's sick. This is my favorite setup. This is my favorite look right here. That looks nice. Okay, this is the problem I have with this director. This is directed by Min Yu Song, who is an amazing commercial director. I looked up their work on the production company Love and Money's website, and there's some fire stuff. But what I noticed is there's not very many music videos. And because of that, I don't think they're used to understanding how to cover dancing very well. Lots of times in commercials, everything's very planned out. And there's longer shots. I honestly feel like the pacing's a little bit slow. I would like to see more cutting more shots and more intentional camera movement, especially this wide shot where they're moving sideways. How does the dance move that they're doing right here tell the director that the camera should be on a wide shot moving sideways? It's just not as intentionally planned. And the 
camera movement doesn't really exist. Oh my gosh, that was, that was fire though. The chessboard to the light up floor transition? Nah, mm -mm. The whole music video is fixed and it looks like they might've transitioned it on a blend mode where the light parts of the image stay longer than the dark parts. Cause you see, we have a black void behind the mirror and that is the part of the image that we start to see first. And the chessboard stays, which really helps make that transition so freaking delicious. I love it. <laughs> also, the song is a bop. The video is meh, but the song is a bop. It's actually produced by the same guy that did Sam Smith Unholy. And that's why you hear those strong bass notes. I think this producer loves the bass. No treble. Mm -mm. Some film burns. Okay, bringing it back. Those were popular in like 2012. Like even that little cut right there, the wide shot to the closer wide shot, it's too jump cutty for me. I don't like jump cuts. I don't know, that just, it feels sloppy. I freaking love the chair floating shot though, that's so cool. Oh, <laughs> that's an epic final shot. Jesus loves you. I love you guys. Okay, that's good. Good job, Franklin. 